Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA. Today I just want to show you how you can combine a number of techniques in Power BI, especially around using DAX. Uh, and in this case, I'm going to do it. Uh, and in doing so, in, in, in implementing it, I'm going to understand anomalies better in my data sets. Because you want to you want to understand this stuff, right? Like if you're if you're in an organization and you're seeing a customer or you're seeing um, you know results which are just way out from what they should be, there there are anomalies in your data sets. Well, you want to understand why, and that's what Power BI is amazing for, is because you can place filters on those outliers, and through using a number of um, DAX techniques, measure branching techniques, you can then find out, you can really discover, okay, why did this happen? And you can, you know, work out, you know, was it, for, you know, was it because of your, was it because of, say, competition? Was it because of, um, say, you know, the, their business isn't doing well? There's so many different things, you know, that you can, you know, you can, uh, insights you can extract very, very quickly and um, and understanding those anomalies really quickly, which is which is really key because you want to, you know, say, say for instance, you know, you've got some um, particular grouping of customers who are performing really well. Well, you want to know why, like what are they buying? Uh, when are they buying it? Um, you know, who are they buying it through? All of these great things, you can find that out with Power BI, which is really, really cool. So here's just an example uh, that that's, uh, that I've whipped up that includes a number of different techniques, right? So I've done a number of I've created a number of measures on the right hand side here, and you know you can whip this up pretty quickly if you understand how to use um, DAX and DAX patterns, etc. But you've got to make also make sure your model's right. Um, but so I'm looking at my uh, this is this is uh, the this is t uh, this is actually showing regional, right? So our region, so we're selling stuff regionally. Um, and I'm looking at okay, what are the what is the total sales in a particular quarter? Because I can change my sales here. What are my total sales in that particular quarter? Um, but also the difference in sales. So the difference uh, the difference year on year, I believe. Yeah. So um, so for instance, for instance, uh, you know, we've got zero here. Uh, this customer has had a you know, significant amount of sales, seventy six million. Um, but that's only a small improvement on on last year. Uh, versus say this this customer here total sales of 67 million but vast improvement on the year before the quarter, the same quarter the year before so already pretty pretty decent insight in there right but then we're also we're diving deeper right we're diving deeper that's why why we want to understand these anomalies we want to understand why we're getting these results and this is what this is what this information is going to al allow us to achieve so I'm going to look at say okay was it driven by products was it um, total sales um, versus sales last year and we could dive into each individual product and work out okay well where where's the big difference and then this cumulative information down here is where, what I always say is the best for identifying trends like so if we if we had some sort of seasonality trend uh, for a particular grouping of customers or a customer we would see it very quickly inside of cumulative total patterns it's much easier in my view to see it sometimes than if you say using a um, stats column chart and then we could even drive more from this as well. Um, but I just want to show you how we're going to detect these anomalies, right? So we can we can break out, um, you know, we can select within this chart, right? So say we go to quarter three and we see, okay, well these are these are some anomalies in our data. Like why why um, has there been such a difference in sales for this particular customer? Well, if I select that, you'll see that okay, well if we go through our um, analysis here, they've bought a whole different range of products than they have in the past, right? So these are the ones that they bought last year. And then all of a sudden they've bought all these other different products. So maybe they uh, were first introduced to the company this quarter last year and they've evolved into buying lots of other products. And you can see here in the cumulative total, well, okay, so it just sort of way outperformed everything that it did in the prior year, um, like so. So then we can also say, for instance, say for instance, we want to um, select a range of, we could have a look at our anomalies, which are you know, our poor selling, um, you know, our, our, our worst selling comp comparatively to a prior period. And we can try and identify what's going on there. So I've just done a multi-select with a control, a holding down control. And you'll see here, well, okay, so, you know, some of these, um, some of these customers, they bought you know, quite a lot of these products the year before, but not so much um, in this, in this time period. And we could also just say change, um, change the sorting there as well. So we could get a better, that, that actually probably gives you a better picture. So what, you know, th so the insight, right, th th that's, that's what I, that's what I want to showcase here is that we can really understand our anomalies so much quicker with Power BI. And that's the, that's the key thing. Um, and you know you're obviously going to have a much different setup to this 
um, but by combining techniques, and that's 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 what I want to reiterate, combining all of your DAX techniques, layering them on top of each other is the key here. This is the way you do it. So you might start with something like total sales and you might go to say total profits or something like that. And then you might do use some time intelligence, then you might use some cumulative totals, and then you use the power that is in, within your data model to, you know, to be able to place those filters on them, etc. So really, really, really powerful stuff. And then with this, um, you know, I've got videos out there as well that even showcase how you can within these scatter charts, um, you, you know, um, you could even break out, um, you know, have a, have a slicer in there that enables you to actually really drill into these particular clients. So there's, there's heaps of things that you can, um, you know, you can do that. Another example, say for instance, and this is again, um, you know, a great feature, this filtering feature on the, on the um, right hand side. What I can do is I can go grab my different sales, right? And I can say put a page level, if I, let's have a look here, I can put a, actually no, it doesn't let me do that. So I can put it into a visual level filter, and then what I can do is I can say, okay, well, uh, let's say if it's less than zero, let's apply that filter. So now that actually allows me to drill into just those particular clients, and then we again can just go even further. So it's so easy to, to understand these anomalies, right? And that's that is um, that is what I wanted to stress in this video. Okay, so I'm going to wrap things up. You can you can get hold of through, hold of this resource uh, through Enterprise DNA TV. So certain um, TV resources. Sorry, the description is going to be in the, uh, going to be below there. Um, so certainly check that out. Uh, it just requires a small investment. And yeah, let's uh, wrap things up today. Um, all, all the very best. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, I'll speak to you again soon. Cheers.